Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to Martin Lucas Investor. Last show of the week, preparing for a special event tonight on our music channel, of course. We are talking about uh, one of our members just lost his uh, dear mother, and we are doing a special tribute tonight on our music channel. Please do join us for that. Right at the end of the show, we will go directly to there. So I will send you there. That's coming up very shortly. For Lance Strength, one of our members, we will be covering that very, very shortly. Okay, but before we do any of that, we are going into our closing bell show, and we do have a um, uh, a couple of um, reviews to do uh, urgently. Now, I've just got to check a couple of things because... Um, uh, YouTube have updated their settings and it's absolutely driving me flipping up the wall at the moment. Uh, as you can see, uh, my back screen hasn't changed yet. Uh, I'm not quite sure what's going on there. Let me just uh, try and fix this a moment. YouTube have just put this thing with a screensaver and uh, it's driving me up the twist. I don't know how to stop the screensaver. Um, but anyway, I'll try again. I dare say we're going to have to fiddle around with this for a few days. Right, okay. It's working now. Not quite sure what to do to make this work properly. Anyway, never mind. We'll uh, deal with the updates. They put this screensaver on now, so the um, the screen keeps moving, and it's like, I'm sure some people appreciate it, but for me, it's an absolute pain in the backside. Um Anyway, there you go. There's also uh, some errors on YouTube uh, on uh, Robin Hood today. If you noticed on Robin Hood today, um, you might notice that your brokerage limit, uh, it's following the same chart as, as it should, the way it's moving, but it's like out of sync with the line. So it's like showing you down when you should actually be slightly up. Uh, it's kind of weird. Uh, I don't know what's going on there. Sometimes they have a chart issue. I'm sure it'll get corrected, but... Um, I imagine a lot of people are getting quite stressed about that today. But anyway, never mind. Never mind. Let's just deal with it. Craig, good evening, everyone. Good afternoon. Uh, put a pick of Discord and breakfast uh, bar of my wife having a great time at SeaWorld doing a trainer for the day. Let's have a quick look in the breakfast bar. Let's have a look. Um, breakfast bar. This is um, Jen. Is it Jenny, isn't it? I think it is Mark Saxby's wife doing her training. Wow, look at that. Look at that. What a wonderful day uh, at, uh, at SeaWorld today. Look at that. Hey, how about that for a picture? Isn't that amazing? Absolutely great. Look at that. Oh, I would, lo I would love a day like that right now. Ah, oh, yeah. But, you know, been in the studio now for sort of two and a half years, locked in here. That would be a wonderful experience. What a wonderful thing for her birthday. Fantastic. Absolutely lovely. Let me put a big, uh, big smiley face on that one. Brilliant. And I, I hope she enjoyed the birthday as well. Uh, that was uh, that was fun to do that this morning as well. Right, I've got to get straight into it. Um, Vincent, let's go. Hi, Martin, how are you? Uh, I'm well. Is there a list of membership perks? I was a member once, but I completely forgot to check out any perks. Do you get access to analysis tools? Yes, you do. You get you get training. You get um, the best thing to do. Uh, Kevis Schools is give you the new updated uh, perks. There are literally. I don't know how many perks there are. So many perks. It keeps going up. The price never changes. The inflation never increases. Uh, here is the how and why you should be a member video. Here it is. Go and check all this out. You need to watch all of it. There's no ads. It's like a 20-minute video. Perk after perk after perk. Um, and it's an informational video. There's no ads on that video at all. Go and check it out, and, um, and uh, you will... Um, Hopefully, uh, think it's worth being a member again. I, I think you will. Just for Ed Nevius's training for a start that he's paid for, you get for free. Just for the discounts of the uh, the tools that I use, which you have to pay for, are for free. I mean, it's ridiculous. It, it's the best value. I mean, it really, really is uh, ridiculous. Um, I'm a member of my own of my home channel because of the benefits I get. Anyway, uh, Tilray, not rubbish. Not rubbish today, right? Not rubbish today. Indeed, it's a big, big turnaround today. I'm really, really pleased. I knew it was going to go up when this news came out. I put the video out saying so. It did, and uh, it went bananas. 
And uh, I'm really, really pleased for everyone today who took advantage of that. Absolutely great. Uh, will do. Yeah, there's the video. That gives you all the information you need. She's very much enjoyed her birthday song. Thank you, Martin. Uh, think you made her day. Wonderful. Don't forget, if she wants to join us tonight for the party, she can have a request, favourite songs, after we do the memorial for Lance Strength. Anyway, without further ado, I've got to get straight into now some very important stuff. i got some super chats today saying urgent. We need this done urgently. Uh, so we're going we're gonna to get straight into uh, straight into this. So this is uh, core, uh, this is core and main, and then oxygen. These have been asked to do straight away, straight away, no messing around. Cut from there, put to the top immediately. Here we go, here we go. Um, so all right, here it comes. Uh, JJ is JJ here? JJ, uh, I want to speak to JJ just for a moment. Is JJ here? Great. Are you here, JJ? I just want to confirm, is JJ here? I want to speak directly with JJ uh, and ask a very important question. So, JJ, are you here? Would you consider Robinhood Gold worth it? Yes, I'm on it. It's worth it. It's worth it for the instant, uh, instant, um, uh, instant transfers. That alone, so you can transfer money and instantly earn 5%, instantly benefit from the higher rate of interest, instantly get your money into uh, uninvested cash, instantly get it back out again, uh, be able to trade stocks that haven't settled uh, instantly. Um, absolutely. For the benefit, if you've only got like $500 in your account, probably not worth it. But if you've got thousands of dollars in it, I mean, I don't know what number you've got. It definitely is worth it. Um, I have it. I've always had it. Uh, the extra level of information is okay, but you can find that anywhere like level two. I don't really think that's much really on Morningstar. Their, their reviews aren't really worth much, but the, um, but the, uh, the other perks and benefits. Yeah. I mean, abs absolutely. Also, you can have the um, the best deal on margin. Um, you've got the best deal on uninvested cash. It's a win-win. I think you get the 3% match as well. I think that's only on gold as well. It, this, it really is worth it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, anyway, so JJ, are you here? I think he's in the chat. I've only got one more minute to speak to you. If you are here, I've got to move on. Are you here? Uh, if he's here, I want to speak directly to JJ. Uh, just give it one more moment, and then I'm going to have to move on. I've really got a very tight schedule today to get both of these things done for my members. I'm waiting to start. JJ isn't here. I'll have to come back to you at the end of this review, but I really want to uh, ask you a question if you are here. Um, let's see. Just wait one more moment. Um, Just want to wait one more moment to see if he's here. Um, I don't think he's, he's in the chat, but he's not responding. He may be away from his computer, phone, whatever it might be. Okay, I can't wait. I have to move on, so uh, I'll try and I'll, I'll try and catch him uh, later. Um, right. I think I'm gonna have to move on. Okay. I have to move on. Okay, I've got uh, this is this is for Jason uh, Davis. Jason Davis, uh, are you here? Um, Jason Davis, I don't think he's here, but I'm going to do it anyway straight away. I've then got to go on to another one, and I've got to get all that done in the next 45, 50 minutes. So, um, okay, right here we go. I'll. Uh, uh, JJ, if you do come in, I'll speak to you at the end of this. So, uh, got to do this now. Uh, 
Time for another stock review. This is Core and Main, CNM. Uh, this is another stock being requested by one of our members. A very interesting industrial style stock, this one. Can you make money from this? That's the question. So we're going to go through the numbers and analyze it right now and see if you can actually make money from this stock. Uh, it's a new one. It looks very good. It follows the S&P pretty well. You might like it if you're like me, like good, solid investments that do, in fact, follow the uh, SNP. Anyway, during this review, you're going to get the most honest review you're going to see on uh, online because I'm using the most advanced algorithmic software. I only own the SNP. I'm not in any stocks other than uh, other than the SNP, so I'm not pumping and dumping it. I'm going to share with you the uh, the the balance sheet, the profit, the loss. I'm going to share with you uh, the inside trading, who's buying, who's selling, a profitability score, a solvency score, uh, the the uh, sentiment around the stock, uh, the full balance sheet, the whole thing. Uh, inside trading, did I mention that? I probably did. We're also going to look at the website as well. We're going to look at the website, further information, do a back test against the S&P 500. All of that's coming up, latest news, latest information, why you might want to invest in this one. Uh, so let's do it. This is from one of our members. And we also have a Meet the CEO series. Uh, CEOs like to be on my show. They say they like the way it, we do it here. Much more friendly and approachable than Bloomberg and Mad Money uh, with Jim Cramer. And uh, we've had several already on our show and many more lined up to come in the future. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. If you like this video, please tap the like button and hit subscribe and ring the bell. Now, if you are an investor or you work at the company, uh, I will tell you in, in a moment how you can get the CEO on the show and uh, engage and uh, and uh, and share this video out because I'm very sure and very confident within days or a week or so, we'll rank for this one. We rank uh, number one for most of our stocks on YouTube now. I'm sure this will be the same as we're ranking for the word stock now. So uh, something stock like CNM stock, uh, perhaps we'll rank for that and it will draw attention to the stock. All right, let's get straight into it. And there's an interesting one, this one. Let's start off nice and basic and simple, and then we'll get into more detail as we go on throughout the video. So first of all, as you can see, uh, over time uh, since uh, 2021, steadily go, and now we're up, uh, as you can see, over time now, 166%. Very nice indeed. What is core and main? Let's zoom in and have a quick look, because you might, you might guess what it means. Cora Main is a speciality distributor focused on water, wastewater, storm drainage and fire protection products, which is interesting because I think it was requested by Jason, who is installing fire equipment. It's a good, uh, good way to invest, things you understand, things you work in, because you understand the business a lot more than most. There you go. Protect fire protection products and related services. The company... Uh, provides infrastructure solutions to immun municipalities, private water companies, and professional contractors across municipal, non-residential, and uh, residential end markets nationwide. The company was founded in 1874, so it's been around a long time, even though it's recently public, and is headquartered in Lewis, Lewis MO. The listed name is CNM, which is Core and Main, 1874. Very nice indeed. Only recently it looks gone public. We, we like that. Uh, Missouri, United States, 5,000 employees dead. Not that 5,001. 5,000 employees. Stephen O. Leclerc is the CEO. Now, Stephen, you'll probably hear about uh, this video and this analysis on online. Uh, I would love to invite you on the show. We've had many on before and there'll be many after you, I'm sure. Please come on the show. Tell me all about your business. I don't own it. I, I will only own the s and I don't pump and dump it. But what I would like to do is share your uh, story, your business with the world. Now, if you are an investor, folks, and you'd like Stephen O. Leclerc on the show, what do you do? You can take this video and share it on social media. You can create a Reddit group around the business and I will provide you all the content for your group and help and support you so you can grow online, build a family around this, email investor relations. I'll also give you an invitation video. It's called Invite the CEO Video. You can you can uh, attach with this one to send off to the CEO so they understand what the invitation is. But it is open 
invitation. We'd love them to be on the show, but I leave that to the investors. I never message anyone or go cap in hand saying, come on my show. We don't do it that way. We always undersell and over deliver. We don't promise or promote anything. We just do our thing on our own channel. If you'd like to tell them about what we do, please do. And then when it's uh, when they're interested, then uh, let me know and I'd love to have them on the show. Right. If you're buying this on margin, it's the lowest uh, risk, 25%. No real worry here as far as margin's concerned. It's the lowest risk. Uh, average volume, 3.73. Today's volume, 1.6. No dividend yield. So low volume. Perhaps it's just a buy and hold sort of stock. I think it is from the initial reaction, re initial look at it. Uh, price to earnings ratio, 26.96. It makes money. How expensive is it? Is it the price to the earnings ratio? Well, we'll need to compare that to the rest of uh, its competition, and we'll do that later on in the video. 52-week low, 2062. 52-week high, 5824. Uh, okay, so right now we're at 57, so we're sort of in the top range at the moment. Okay, uh, Morningstar is saying buy. It's a strong buy by Morningstar, 80%, but I don't, I don't like to use Morningstar. They're paid to say these things. Uh, I don't like this kind of thing, but it's useful as a starting point. I'll do my own review in a minute. Much more uh, honest, to be quite frank with you. All right. Okay. Then we have the valuation. We have the the earnings, as you can see. Um, they keep, uh, well, actually, it's 50-50 between uh, Wall Street being right and, uh, you know, getting this right. Uh, they have uh, surprised Wall Street and they've... Um, and they've missed with Wall Street as well. Remember the 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 um, the expectations, the estimates is done by Wall Street, not by them. They're not saying we're going to do this. That's what Wall Street say. And then when they miss it, of course, we miss the earnings or we beat the earnings. Okay, uh, so it's kind of up and down this one. It's not steady or whatever. It's always making money, but it's uh, it is bouncing around. But since uh, 22 of Q4, we've seen it rise until recently, Q4 23, it dropped off. Why was that? Well, hopefully we can find out later on. Uh, the estimate was 35 pence, sorry, 35 cents per share and actual was 34 cents uh, per share. So it dropped a lot from the last earnings of Q3. Who else is buying this stock? Uh, Broadcom, Applied ma uh, Materials, uh, uh, Super Microcomputer, CrowdStrike. This gives us an idea of how it might trade. These are all um, good, solid companies, as you can see. These aren't penny stocks. This is this is a this is a good, solid company. Obviously, it's a good company with others. We don't we've got no Mullins and scam stocks in there. So th th this is this is a good, solid business from 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 the standpoint of who else invests in this. So you're not going to get the nonsense that you're going to get with penny stocks and all the rest of it. Okay. Let's move on now and see if we can find out more about the company before we go into the the proper details and the money of it and the money side of it. Please do smash the like button, leave me a comment below, and I will reply to everybody's uh, every one of my members' comments. All right, okay. Let's now look and see if we can make any money from this company. What do you think of it so far? Is the money stacking up? Are you uh, scratching your chin and thinking I kind of like this? Well, let's uh, let's look a bit deeper. Here we go. About us, about us, our speciality uh, products and services are used primarily in the maintenance, repair, replacement, and new construction of water, wastewater, storm damage, and fire protection infrastructure. Through our network of approximately 335 branch locations in, 40, in, in uh, 48 states across the US, we serve as a crucial link between approximately 5,000 suppliers and that's interesting. They've got 5,000 employees and 5,000 suppliers. There we go. One employee per supplier and a diverse and long-standing base of over 60,000 customers. Uh, at the vision to foster a world where communities thrive uh, because of our because of because our people and products provide safe sustainable infrastructure uh, for generations to come and our mission what's our mission we are an industry leader supplying local expertise uh, service and products nationwide to build innovative water, wastewater, energy and fire protection solutions for our customers and the communities we serve. Okay, that's some general information. Why Core and Main? Why would you invest in this company? Well, this is what they say. We are a market leader in, in, uh, 
uh, market leader with size and scale in an attractive and fragmented market. We have a strong value proposition and play a pivotal role in shaping our, our industry. We have multiple levers for continued organic growth, continually cultivating ways to grow growth faster and, and than the market and gain share. I will leave the rest of that on the screen. You might want to pause that and look at that, the rest of their statements. Okay, let's move, on, move along. Um, we're going to get into the numbers in a few moments. This is some news just out, just a week or so ago, some news. Court and Maine's Maine signs agreement to acquire ACF West Inc. Okay, we'll read the first paragraph of this. Uh, a leader, um, St. Louis uh, CNM. Thank you, Jeffrey, for your subscription. Uh, appreciate that. This is being made during a live show. A leader in advancing reliable infrastructure with local service nationwide has entered into a definitive agreement to acquire NW uh, Geosynthetics uh, doing business as an ACF West. Uh, ACF West is a leading distributor of geosynthetic materials and provider of soil stabilization uh, solutions with six locations in the Western United States. We are excited to, f uh, to grow our geosynthetics footprint across the Western United States through the addition of ACF West. Together with their talented team, we will, we will extend our distribution reach and, ex and enhance our geosynthetic product and service offerings throughout the region, said Steve LeClaire, Chief Executive Officer. We mentioned him just a few moments ago. Additionally, their, their expertise is engineered solutions will enable us to provide our customers with access to a wider range of capabilities. Latest news from the company. Okay, and there's the homepage uh, as you uh, as uh, just wanted to share with you how the website looks. Okay, now we know a bit about the company and uh, what they think of themselves and why we perhaps should invest. Let's see if the money stacks up at the end of the day. If the money doesn't stack up, we can't turn the money printer on. We can't take any, we can't make any money. So before you get your credit card out, Mr. Jordan Smith, and buy this stock, we need to look over the numbers. So let's do that right now. Let's go over to the numbers and see how this stacks up by first of all, looking at the intrinsic value. All right. Okay. Tap the like button. If you like this video so far, leave a comment. I will reply back to you. Okay. I'll also provide you with the link of the software I use, which is the most advanced software. My members get a free plan or a lifetime discount plan. Okay. Here we go. Uh, it's uh, saying it's overvalued. We're overvaluing at 19% or 20 25% undervaluation at the best case, but the base case, which is what we like to go on, is overvalued by 19%. Worst case, overvalued by 42%. Okay, there's an idea. Now, the valuation seems pretty reliable, pretty accurate. No warnings here. What is an intrinsic value? You might want to Pause it on the pause it there and take a read of what an intrinsic value is. I'm very mindful of your time and realize not everyone has to have it explained every time. Run a back test uh, the intrinsic value and let's see it in real time as we process this. The correlation between the price uh, and the valuation one percent. So there you go. Again, you might want to pause that and zoom in. There's a lot of information there. Now, we've just had the Q4 earnings. I'm going to pick up what was uh, uh, what was said on those earnings. The company forecasts its net sales to reach between $7.4 billion uh, and $7.6 billion in the fiscal 2024, marking a 10% to 13% increase year over year. Very nice. Adjusted EBITDA projections lie between 925 million and 975 million, indicating a two to two to seven percent growth. An effective tax rate around 25 percent is anticipated, with plans to convert 60 percent to 70 percent of adjusted EBITDA into operating cash flow uh, for growth and shareholder value initiatives. Okay, there's the general headlines from the last earnings. What about the financials? Financial six point six billion on the most recent range. Uh, that was in Oct October twenty twenty three. Okay, and now we're moving up. January thirtieth, uh, we're expecting six uh, six point eight billion uh, is our, and then we're expecting to see that increase over the most recent range. We're up. Point one. It's not growing massively, the expectations, but we are moving in the right direction. Operating income is down 2%. 
Um, it looks pretty flat, really. 362 net income is up 0.3. We're expecting a bit of a jump uh, on the next one uh, in January, of course, just gone. Uh, ca uh, the, the, the cash flow is at negative uh, 34% down. Um, 201 million is the investing cash flow, which is negative 23%. Operating income, which is a good, which is good, by the way, it's in green. Uh, operating cash flow is positive 25%. That's very nice indeed. Let's now look at the balance sheet. If you tap the like button so far, if you do, it will share the video out. If you don't like the video, please click the down like button. I don't mind what you do, just do something. Okay, what about the, the balance sheet? 5.1 billion in assets and 3.3 in liabilities. Good. We're not upside down, more assets and liabilities. 101 million in cash. Let's look at our debt position, 3.3 billion in liabilities. How much of that is long-term debt? 1.4, which is 43%. Uh, so we've got a bit of debt here. So when, with interest rates coming down, this business can get a nice little catalyst for a boost. Uh, however, it does have uh, long-term debt of 1.4 billion, and we do have... Uh, 101 million. So we can't uh, pay our debts off at the moment, but uh, it's uh, it's manageable, I would say, at this stage. But uh, nevertheless, we do have a sizable amount of debt on the books. Okay, let's move down. The margins. Now, the margins uh, are very important. It's it's the moat around the business, how it can, how it can uh, see off competition. In a moment, I will give you a link for the competition. You might want to go and look and see what the other uh, what their competitors' margins are looking like, but we are we we've got positive margins. We're not losing money. We're making money. Of course, this is a good business. Twenty seven percent gross margin. Again, we can't tell if that's a good or bad margin uh, until we compare it to the competition. It gives us an idea. But nevertheless, we've got good margin. We've got margins. We're making money, uh, and that's all looking pretty good. And steady steady growth is anticipated. Uh, if be it not massive. Anyway, profitability, uh, profitability is, is is pretty good here. We've got exceptional three-year growth, positive gross profit. We're just amber though on the positive three-year average uh, ROE and positive ROE. We're amber. We're not red. We're amber. If we were red, if we were green, we'd be up in, in the 65, 70%, but 55 is still pretty good. Uh, we've got all ticks here for the solvency, 48% solvency. So we've got a bit of debt, but the business isn't going bust. It's got plenty of money to sustain it. So that's good. You can invest n knowing it's not going anywhere. Okay. Now then, Wall Street, they say 51% downside at the worst case scenario, 13% downside on the um, on the average and a 25% upside at the best case scenario. Again, it looks a bit overpriced from where it is now. It does look a bit expensive from where it is now. You might want to get this uh, around about the $50 mark, uh, then things might look a bit better for you. But right now at 57, 58, where it is now, it's a bit expensive perhaps. There's the competition. Now, if you want to go and get compared with the competition, uh, click above my head or down below in the description. I'll give you a link to the software that I use, which is the most advanced algorithmic software. My members can get a, a, a discount that will basically make my membership for free, or you can get a limited free plan as well, uh, which is great. Nobody else offers that deal. Um, and you can then go through the competition and see what their margins are looking like. Now then, we don't like to see this, hence why it's, a, it's too expensive right now. Um, it's being sold off. Uh, insiders are, are taking profits. Uh, in, in the last 12 months, uh, insiders have not bought any shares and sold $746.4 million worth of the stock. Uh, so there you go. You can see insiders are selling. Admittedly, it's scaling back now. We're kind of done with selling. So perhaps the next round is buying, but I still think it's a bit expensive. So we don't like seeing insiders selling their stock, of course. What about a short position? Well, for a company like this, which is uh, a, sol a solid, in, in, in a minute I'll show you, it follows the S&P a little bit. I'm surprised it's got so much short interest. Um, so... Uh, 
perhaps that can drive the price down a little bit and we can get a bit of a discount. 8.51, don't expect a short squeeze. We've got nowhere near the volume and nowhere near than that short interest. So no pop on a short squeeze. That's not going to happen here. This sort of stock, I doubt, would do that anyway. All right, let's move on down, move on down. Uh, no latest news. Not many people are talking about this stock. That's why I've said I think we'll rank number one very quickly. It's not getting much media attention. It will now. We'll be, we'll, we'll ha our review will be right here on Alpha Spread. They, they put every one of my reviews on their, uh, on their website. So I'm sure that will get uh, it, hit, uh, it played here. Okay. Uh, no, well, I, a hundred percent because I know the CEO, he loves what we do and he'll put it, he'll put it on the website. No doubt about it. Right. So there we go. That's, uh, that's the, that's the information there. Now then let's go over to a back test of the company, compare it to the S and P. As you can see, look how it trades alongside the S and P now, but slightly better though from, uh, from 22, admittedly only a short period of time that's been public, but nevertheless, look how it's followed the S and P. And then when the S and P goes up, it kind of goes up more when the S and P goes down though. However, it kind of goes down more as well. It kind of exaggerates what the S and P is doing. You can see it going up here. It goes up more. The S&P going down, it goes down more. It kind of like, you know, ex exaggerates it slightly. You might like a chart like that. And it's very interesting. All right. So what do I think of this? Um, is it worth an investment? Well, um, I, I would like to learn more about the company. Uh, I'd like to know, I certainly like to know more about it, but uh, it's got a, a pretty good balance sheet. I would prefer the price to be uh, around about the $50 though. Um, and, uh, then, then perhaps, but uh, even though it follows the S and P, I would prefer for me the S and P anyway. I'd need to know more about it, but you know this isn't um, th this isn't bad at all. I would like to see the price come down and get it at fifty bucks. Maybe then that would be a good entry point. Um, Wall Street don't give it enough of a of a boost really to uh, for it to make you know for it to be worth what I don't think at this price. Uh, if we just look at it over the last three months, it's continually going up. It's getting a lot of, uh, it's getting bought up at the, at the moment, a little bit overbought. Insiders have been selling, not enough short interest to drive it up. But even so, the short interest isn't really bringing it down either. So it's obviously got good strength here. But for me, um, I, I would be, I'd be wanting to, um, I'd be wanting to get it at a better deal. There's no dividend here. There's no technically free money. And considering that we've just missed on the last earnings uh, and the growth forecast wasn't you know, amazing, I don't know why, quite frankly, it's going up so much. Um, I would rather wait for this. So for me, it's not a buy right now, but it's certainly a solid company, been around for a long time with good history. Click above my head for all the, the links, down below for all the links. Down below, you'll also find the link to my membership where you'll learn all about membership and, and what you'll benefit from and how you can get uh, this software for free uh, or a premium service, uh, how you can become a member and have your own reviews done. It's just one of the perks that you get. Uh, also, our extra channel, which runs all the time to support this channel, soon to go 24 hours a day to provide service and support to, to everyone. Uh, so, so there's that. Uh, and I think that's about it, right? Okay, over here, you'll find more reviews. I've done over 100 reviews now, many, many reviews, and the Meet the CEO series as well. That's it from me. So click above my head for all the links down here, over here, and over here, and uh, another review done for one of our members. Until next time, as always, take care of yourselves and each other. All right. Um... Yes, we are supporting Lance Strength tonight on our, our special tribute. Lance is on the screen. Lance is on the screen right now with Glenda, his mum. There she is. Glenda is is our, is the uh, the focus of our show this evening. We are doing a tribute for Glenda tonight, Lance Strength's mum. Uh, there she is, wonderful woman, mother of Lance. On the show tonight, we are doing a special tribute uh, to... to for him. This is the event tonight. You don't want to miss it. 
Uh, we're going to spend the first 15 minutes or so just dedicated to uh, Glenda. We hope the family join us so they can be with us. Um, we'll, 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 we, we shall see. And then after that, we'll do our regular music. This is the... Um, this is the event tonight. I'm going to give everyone the link later on, but this is the this is the link. This is the this is the show tonight. Tribute to Glenda, uh, the mother of Lance Strength, and uh, we hope you will join us for that uh, event. I'm sure Lance will uh, Lance will appreciate it. In fact, if you look at Glenda and you look at Lance, you can actually see the similarities, can't you? Can you see that? You can see that uh, that's her son and that's his mum. You can see that, can't you? Uh, a very distinctive look there, definitely. All right, wonderful. Okay, let's carry on then. Uh, we have another uh, review to do quickly now. So there was the first one. This one is for Vincent Vosberg. Is Vincent Vosberg in the, in the chat? You asked me to get this done for you straight away. I made a promise. I always uh, live up to my promises. Are you here? Are uh, you here? There you go. Of course, the video will come out later, but uh, now I'm going to uh, do it for you. So it is. It is OC. We've we've done this before. This is a, this is an update. O C G N. Ocugen. O C G N. There we go. O C G N. Let me have a look here as well. Um, o C G N. Ocugen. Get that ready. Okay, we are talking a biopharmaceutical company. Okie dokie. Another one of those. Okay, high-risk stocks always are. OCGN, Ocugen. I think there was some interest, wasn't there, with Kathy Wood with this one? I'm not 100% sure. Ocugen, I'll find out in a minute. Uh, there's that. There's that. Um, okay. Let's go into a dividends. There won't be any dividends here. Not at one six. No, no dividends here. Uh, what about, what about, what about it? What about it? What about Ocugen? Uh, O-C-G-N, Ocugen. Uh, let's analyze that comparison. Uh, okay, there we go. Well, we can see, no surprise there, but uh, we'll do it anyway. Um, now we need, we need the website, news, Ocugen, Ocugen, whoops a daisy, let's get it right, got to do this, I might have to pause on the bell, but that'll be, that'll be fine, except yes, 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 um, open link in new tab, yes, 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 um, Uh, evidence mounts the future vaccines should be inhaled. That's interesting. Hmm. Let's have a look. What's going on here? It's behaving a bit weird. Why are you behaving weird? Let's uh, delete that. That didn't really load it properly. Let's try that again. Let's try that again. Press releases. That's important. Um, OK, 
Okay, got that. What the company's about, latest news, and uh, media. What the media have said. Uh, evidence mounts. How new is this news here? Okay, that's much better. I think that's all I need. Okay. We're ready to go. Ocugen, Ocugen, Ocugen. Looking good, looking good. Um, here's uh, Vincent Vosberg. Right, here we go. We might have to stop just to ring the bell, but then I'll finish off because we've got our special event tonight. So we have to obviously get this done. So without further ado, here's Ocugen. So here we go. Um, right. Time for another stock review. This time we are talking Ocugen, O-C-G-N. And we are back in the lab once again with biopharmaceuticals. Uh, as you know, these are some of the highest risk stocks, but when they get, when they get it right and uh, we discover something great, then... Uh, uh, we can uh, we can make a lot of gains here, but it's very expensive industry, very risky, and uh, very very difficult to make money unless you get it right. But we'll try and turn on the printing machine for you. Uh, let's have a look at the stock now. Then, in this review, it'll be the most honest review you've ever seen because I'm not in the stock. I only own the S and P 500, so I'm completely transparent. I use the most advanced algorithmic software, which my members can get and use for free. Uh, there's no there's there's no cost here. Also, uh, I do all these reviews for my members. It's one of the perks that you get. We also have Meet the CEO series. We've, we've, we've had CEOs on the show. They like to be on. And I'll tell you how you can get your favorite CEO for your favorite company that you're investing in, or perhaps you work there, and how you can be on the show later on. It, during this review, you're going to see the balance sheet, the profit and loss, the solvency score, the inside trading, um, uh, latest news and trends, who's talking about the stock. We'll also uh, compare the stock to the S&P 500. It's important to do that. Look at the latest news. Look at the latest uh, the, pre the press releases. What is going on? All these things we will cover during this video. So if you like this, please do share it and uh, tap the like button and leave me a comment. If you do comment to me, I will reply back to all of my members. I reply back to everyone. Okay, in, and below the video, you'll see the links for the software that I use. You'll also see the, um, the invitation to invite the CEO on the show, and I'll talk to you about that in a few moments. Now, we start basic. I often get, uh, particularly from these kind of uh, uh, these type kind of stocks, I get uh, somebody who's uh, the sort of person that uh, doesn't really. Um to take the time to watch anything, more like a comic book reader. Uh, they will watch the first minute of the video, say you didn't do anything, see anything, and uh, they didn't get into the meat and bones of the video. This is just the introduction. And I, I, I know, because I can see when people watch and all the rest of it, and it happens a lot with this kind of stock. So I hope this doesn't happen on this one. Please take the time to review to the end of the video, and you will know uh, all about this particular stock. And then you can comment to me and say whether you liked it or didn't or disagree or whatever. But we do start basic because we like to start basic because investing doesn't have to be complicated. We're just looking for a well-run business with a good story, makes money, doesn't have much debt, and does something proprietary and unique and knows how to return a profit. And that can be established in the first few minutes, to be honest with you. 
We don't need to get too fancy about it. Ocugen. What is Ocugen? Well, you can see here, since uh, it opened up, uh, we, we've obviously had reverse splits, or potentially, I would imagine. 2014, the stock had a, a couple of little pops there. Look, um, but essentially, we've been running sideways now uh, for ages. In fact, since about uh, 2019, we've been going pretty much sideways all this time. Is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? Well... Again, you have to zoom in to get the real picture. If we zoom in, of course, it looks a little bit more up and down. But uh, when you look at the world from space, it's as smooth as a marble. But clearly, it's not as smooth as a marble if you're on top of Mount Everest. Anyway, let's go into it. And what is it? Okay, we are live 10 minutes before the bell. We may have to pause this video to uh, ring the bell and then come back to it. Ocugen is a biopharmaceutical company, very high risk stuff this, which engages in development and commercialization of the therapies of cure eye diseases. Its product uh, product pipeline candidates include OQ400, OQ410, OQ200 and, and Covaxin. The firm's modifier gene therapy platform is engaged in addressing retinal uh, diseases, including retinitis, uh, pigmentosa, leber congenital, and amurosis. I apologize if I get some of these names correct. I get criticized for it sometimes. I'm not a doctor or a scientist, and I'm reading it for the first time because I make hundreds of videos a week. I'm sight reading all of this, so I apologize if I get the odd word wrong. And dry age related macular. Uh, degeneration. The company was founded by uh, Shankar, uh, Shankar uh, Musanuri and uh, Uday B. Compella in 2013 and is headquartered in Malvern, PA. The listed name is Ocugen, uh, O-C-G-N. Founded in 2013, uh, but only... Um, well, when did it go public? Let me just scroll back a minute. Uh, 2013, the all-time here was um, 2014. Oh, there we go. It went public uh, straight away, it looks like. Maybe it was a year before it went public. But anyway, 2014 there. It went, uh, it's, it founded in 2013, 84 employees. And there is the CEO, uh, Shankar Musunuri. We'd love to welcome you on the show. Uh, we'd love to have you here. If you'd like to be on the show, it's an open invitation. I've had many CEOs and many more to come on the show. You, we can share your story. I don't pump and dump stock. I only own the SNP, but I like to share to the world great companies. Uh, so we spread the story. We help you grow because we rank number one for the most of the stocks that we cover on, on Google and YouTube. And we'd love to learn about your company. Now, if m one of the investors would like to invite the CEO onto the show, look below in the description. You will find the invitation, invite the CEO video, which you can use in a, in a, uh, in, in, in accompaniment with this one. And what I'd suggest, you either, you, either, uh, uh, you either email investor relations or what you can do is create a, a Reddit group or a Facebook page or some social media group around the stock. And I will provide you with, with, with earnings, reports, breaking news. So you can build a community knowing that as one of my members, I'm going to provide you footage and information to fill your community. And as you grow, they'll get to hear about you or you'll, you'll contact them. Let me know and let's have them on the show. That's how it works. Uh, and maintenance. If you buy, you're buying this with maintenance, it's regarded as high risk. Average volume, 7.86. Uh, so there's a bit of volume here. Um, today's volume, 28 million. Um, okay. Dividend yield, no dividend yield. Price to earnings ratio, losing money, negative 413. Low, 52 week low, 34 cents. 52 week high, 171. Um, who are we in bed with? Uh, just some news just out. Ocugen wins appeal. Securities law lawsuit dismissed. Tip ranks. That's some news just out. Uh, interesting. Okay, we're not going to cover that right now. We've got other news to come to. Um, earnings. We've got... Um, Negative six cents a share expect on the 1st of April. So next week we'll be doing the earnings. And as you can see, the earnings have steadily really been moving in a steadily uh, upward direction towards cash positive. Let's hope they can... <coughs> Excuse me. It's a live show. If we could beat on earnings, uh, we have beaten uh, a couple of times. We also have missed a few times, but we are trending upwards. If we can get cash positive, that's very, very good for the business, of course. 
1st of April. If this gets 100 likes and a lot of comments, we may cover the earnings. Or if one of my members super chats and requests it, then we will cover the earnings of this and see what it does. Right, who, who, are, who are we in bed with? In other words, who, uh, who else is investing in this company? What other companies do they invest in? Zemedica. We just covered that a couple of days ago. A uh, pet, uh, lots of cats and dogs. Uh, I covered that one. SNDL, I also covered that one. So we've got a, we've got some uh, essentially penny stocks here, which means volatility, of course, which means a lot of gamblers, also some real investors, but it also means short potential, all this kind of stuff around the stock. Okay, it's eight minutes before the bell goes. I'm trying to get as much as I can before the bell. You never know. I might even finish the review. Who knows? Uh, so tap the like button if you like it so far or subscribe or ring the bell. Okay, let's now look at some more information uh, based around the company and some latest news. Let's see if this uh, stock actually can make sense and is worth your money, your investment. Okay, here is uh, the company, Our People, about Ocugen. What's it all about? Our leaders have a proven track record of success across the healthcare industry in biopharmaceutical research, commercialization, medicine, and operations. They bring their individual experiences into the public sector and private industry. So the collective work we are doing to benefit patients, we share a common goal, identify and develop revolutionary science to bring something unique to the healthcare landscape, has a way to uh, impact diseases and conditions uh, like no other therapeutic option can. Be bold, act with urgency, uh, demonstrate ingenuity and show resolve. There you go. This is the company and this is what they do. Meet our founders, uh, Dr. Musanuri. We, uh, we talked about him earlier, the CEO. I'd love to have him on the show and learn more about him and why and how he became the CEO of this company. Wonderful. Let's uh, have a look at some news I've just picked up. Just out a couple of days ago, Ocugen announces dosing completion of subjects with geographic uh, trophy in cohort one of phase one of two clinical trial evaluating the safety and efficacy of OCU 410. Just the first, um, the first paragraph. Our biotechnology company uh, focused on discovering, developing, and commercialization, commercializing novel gene and cell therapy and vaccines today announced that dosing is complete in its first cohort of its uh, uh, phase one of two uh, Armada clinical trial for OCU410, a modifier gene therapy candidate being developed for geographic atrophy, GA, and advanced stage of dry age related uh, macular degeneration. Uh, GA affects approximately 1 million people in the United States alone. Just this final piece here, I think it's worth reading. We are very enthusiastic about the potential of OQ410 as of as a as a one-time treatment for life with a single sub-retinal injection, said Dr. Shankar Musunari. Musunuri, that means yes, injecting into your eye. Sounds sounds not very nice, but trust me, I've had my eyes lasered. It probably wouldn't be as bad as it sounds. CEO and co-founder of Ocugen, while there are currently two recently approved products for the treatment of GA, both require approximately 6 to 12 uh, intra-vitreal injections annually and target only the, the complement system. OQ410 uh, OQ addresses multiple pathways cause, causing DAMD, including uh, complement lipid metaboli me metabolism, inflammation, and oxidative, uh, oxidative, oxidative stress. Okay. Okay, some good news there coming out. What about the numbers then? What about the numbers? Let's get straight into it and look at the numbers. Does it does it stack up? Can you make money from this? So before you get your credit card out, Mr. Jordan Smith, and buy this stock, let's go through the numbers and let's see if it all adds up. Here we go. Let's start off with the intrinsic value. Does it make sense? Well, we're about to find out. Tap the like button, subscribe if you like this news, and also, of course, this will promote the stock because we will trend for this. We always do. Okay, let's go into it now.
Here we go. The intrinsic value, we are saying is overvalued by 78%. Uh, overvalued, okay? People are buying it, but we only say it's worth 34 cents. Is it reliable, this intrinsic value today? No. Uh, only uh, only um, based only on its DCF valuation and, and uh, doesn't use any relative valuation using multiples. So we cannot be reliable that this is enough. We need to dig further. Okay, let's dig further. The valuation back test, it's not available because the information is unreliable. What about the Q3 earnings? Okay, Ocugen, a pioneering biopharmaceutical company, shared upbeat updates on the modifier gene therapy based, based phase one of two Ocu400 study, preparing to begin the phase three trial in retinitis, retinitis, I beg your pardon, pigmentosa patients early 2024. After FDA discussions, they aim to expand the OCU400 trial for Leber congenital uh, amaurosis later this year. Uh, contingent on positive phase one of two results, uh, Ocugen is on track with other programs such as Neocart and noted inclusion in a NIAD-funded phase one COVID-19 vaccine trial. They expect a transformative 2024 with initial phase three starts and, and revenue growth forecast at five to 10%. Financially, R&D research and development costs have decreased from 15.6 million to 6.3 million and the company holds 53 million in cash and investments. Okay, that's looking good. What about the financials? Very little information here. Very little information. If we don't have it, we can't present it. Operating income is up 9%. Net income is up 9%. Operate, uh, financing cash flow is down 3%. Investing cash flow is up 53%. That's a negative. Operating cash flow is up 0.9%. What about the uh, balance sheet? 74 million in assets, 16 million in liabilities. That's good. Long-term debt, 1.5 million. 1.5 million equates to... 9% of their balance of their uh, uh, liabilities. That's good. So we have a long term debt of 1.5 million, but we do have 53 million in cash. So very good balance sheet, plenty of money. Uh, shouldn't perhaps need to go to the uh, investor to uh, raise funds. We always need more money. These are expensive businesses after all, but they do have a bit of cash. They've got manageable debt. Balance sheet will look good. I expect the solvency score to. To be nice. Uh, margins at the moment aren't very good. It's it's an it's uh, investing at the moment. Uh, margins are all negative. Not good there at all. Okay, there you go. Profitability, no surprise. Nineteen, very low. Everything is low apart from ROE, which is increasing. What about the uh, solvency score? Like I said, it's going. It's not going bust. It's got money. It's got cash. It's got a balance sheet. Uh, trials are going well. This is this is a potential buy from me. It looks like it's doing well in its trials. It's got some money. It's got a good outlook. It's got a, a manageable debt position. Solvency is good. You can invest perhaps in this. And Wall Street are giving it 160%, 316%, or a 441% upside. There's the competition. Links above my head and below. And we are now going to cut at this point to ring the bell in uh, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1... The bell has now gone. Uh, I'm making this video during a live uh, video, of course. So we've just rung the bell to make sure that everybody's aware that the bell has now gone. Uh, okay, let's carry on. Uh, I will put down here, edit, edit on bell, edit on bell uh, after, after competition. All right, there we go. Moving on down then, here we go. Ownership, good news. Uh, in the last 12 months, we've seen insiders buying the stock. Very nice indeed. During the last 12 months, Ocugen insiders have bought $100,000 worth of stock. We like that. Um, that was a while ago, though. That was nearly a year ago, June 14th. Nothing since then, but they've not been selling the shares. They've been holding the shares. We like that. We can live with that. What about a short interest? Well, look at this. We have got 18.53%. Remember, right at the top of the video, I said you could have short interest on a stock like this, and there it is. Um, 
nearly in a short position, nearly, sorry, nearly in a short squeeze position, at least 20% and good volume. Let's remind ourselves of the volume of the stock. Let's go and have a look. Uh, at the moment, we've got volume of uh, 31 million. Uh, average volume is eight. So we do have a decent amount of volume at the moment, but uh, it's not enough. But it's moving in the right direction, though. And as you can see, we're up 20% today. We're up 44% uh, this week. So shorts are getting squeezed slowly now. 79% over the last month. This has the signs of a potential buildup of a short squeeze. Investors, traders particularly, look for this. So we've got a well-run business. We've got a good balance sheet. Uh, not the best balance sheet, but a good balance sheet nevertheless. Short squeeze. Trials going well and volume gaining, potential short squeeze then. That's what people like. Moving on down, uh, we don't have any latest news. This was two years ago, so it's getting no attention. So my review will appear here. If I can put a positive spin to this, and so far I am, this will rank up the top. It'll do well. We'll rank, for, we'll rank on YouTube for this within a, few, within a week or so, I'm sure. And um, particularly if I cover the earnings as well, if this gets 100 likes. And we could draw a lot of attention to the stock about the trials going well, about the short interest, about the insiders buying, about the balance sheet, this could be a short squeeze. This has this has what it needs. All right. What about the sentiment? Okay. Over the last 90 days, positive, no new, nothing negative, nothing negative over 30. Seven days, positive energy is gaining. And today it's all positive. This is very, very nice. Okay. Let me finish off now by comparing, of course, a back test to the S. NP. So before you uh, get too excited, we just need to bring it into balance. Can you make money from this? Well, if we get a short squeeze, you certainly can. And the trials do well, we certainly can. But let's have a look now at the um, how it compares to the S&P. And is it a good time to buy it? Well, we have to do this, I'm afraid. Let's have a look. The red line is Ocugen. The blue line is the S&P. As you can see, if you bought this back in 2015, your $10,000 is worth $14. Imagine buying it for 10 grand when it came out and now you've got 14 bucks. You wouldn't be too happy, would you? No. $10,000 in the S&P, you've got 30 grand. Think of that. Think of that. You could have put 10, you could be 30 grand or 14, $14. $30,000 or $14 if you chose this over the SNP. Don't always write the SNP off as some sort of waste of time. I invest in it and it's not a waste of time. Uh, you'll always make money in the end. Ocugen, you're down to 14 bucks. So is, is it now worth a buy? Well, let's wrap this video up and let's conclude. Is this worth a buy? What am I going to say to this? Well, I'm going to say that uh, it does have some volume uh, momentum building. We have had a bit of a, a rally recently. Uh, volume is going up. Shorts uh, shorts are getting slowly squeezed. We need a, a bit more volume, though. We don't have over the 20% excessive shorts. It may have already started uh, uh, executing some of those short positions. Um We've got a reasonable balance sheet. We've got cash on the books. The business isn't going bust. It's not making any money yet, as these companies don't until they come to market. Their trials are going great. But remember, you can go for all the trials and then not get FDA approval and you're down the toilet. Very risky stock. Uh, any, any of these t stocks are risky. Breakthrough sciences and and all this kind of stuff is a very risky thing. If it if it pays off, it can uh, it can return a great great return for you. So there we go. That is what we're looking at today. What do you think? Uh, there's a good chance we can we can uh, see this this stock do well, and we can see it's short squeezing potentially with some good media. It does it doesn't have any. No one's talking about it. So here we go. Click above my head for all the links down below in the description for all the links. You'll also find the extra channel just here and the music channel. Please go and check that out. Tonight is a very special music night. We're doing that in a few moments for one of our members. Um, so join us for that every Friday. If you want the links as well for my for my alpha spread, what I use, members can get a free version or they can get a uh, a, 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 um, a, um, 
a premium service with a discount, which makes my membership for free. Above my head, down below, these are all the links down here as well, plus the invite to the CEO. If you do set up a Reddit channel around Occugen or a Facebook page or group, I will provide you with the news. I will support you and help you grow, and you will grow because we rank number one for all the stocks, most of the stocks now that we cover. I'll cover the earnings if we get a request for it, and then you can build a community and invite the CEO on and build a whole community round your favorite stock. There you go. Over here, more reviews for you as well. I've done many reviews, way over 100 now. And uh, if you would, if you'd like to look at those, you can. That's it from me. As always, until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. All right. Okay. We got through our reviews this week as promised, just slightly off the bell, but nevertheless, we got them done. Fantastic. Those reviews will come out later. So now what we have to do is uh, wrap up. I've got to send you all now to the music show this evening. Let me read the comments that I may have missed. I'm going to buy some Fisco on Monday when my bank transfer clears. Let's have a look. Robin Hood, of course, you don't have to wait for a transfer to clear. You've got margin and you can use $1,000 of margin for free without any uh, interest at all. Uh, look at this. Look how, look how the chart has corrected itself. Remember I said all day it was like it was looking like I was down? I wasn't at all. The line had re, uh, the, the chart had been recalibrated. I've been green all day. They are. See how it's the same now? The Roth IRA is today, I'm up 0.16, which is exactly the same 0.01. I and mean, it's virtually identical. Um, you can see that look. There you go. That's exactly how it should be. We're back to normal again now, which is good. My balance hadn't changed. It was the calibration of the charts. Sometimes Robinhood have a little calibration issue, which they've corrected. So we've been green all day, which is nice. Very, very good indeed. Uh, Fisker, let's go back to it right now. Fisker has been down all day today. I'll be buying more uh, uh, as well. MSK, do you think there is a possibility for good news that will help with Fisker? Noy Elminger, yes, I do believe the turnaround is very much possible. And if I'm absolutely honest, my biggest worry is that Elon Musk is probably the biggest hater. I think that is very, very true. Related to weed, hopefully, the US will actually do something and reschedule and Canada reduces the excise tax. Great movement today in the industry. Let's look at Tilray. Yes, we reported on it. We told you when it was going to pop. It did. There it is. We've been covering this now, several videos, and they've all been spot on. Uh, Mike Koza, hello to you. Good afternoon, everyone. Raman, good afternoon. American Truther, Tilray and Cron still will double by next month. Very, very good. I am Fisker strong as well. I will turn around. So it will turn around soon. Time to buy some Cron too. Better to go with high tide probably over Cron. Fat, uh, 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 MSK. I'll be rehearsing all of our cannabis. I've been. I'll be resharing all of your cannabis videos. Uh, Aglel Hijos. Thank you so much. What you could do is uh, create a Reddit group better than anybody else's because I will provide you all the content that you need and you can build a community around uh, our uh, cannabis stocks, uh, videos, earnings, reports, news. I'll I do it for all my members. If you become a member, I will provide that service for you. Here is how you become a member. Hello all, Yardastick, hello there to you, Vincent Vosberg, very good, thanks, Vincent, the video will come out for you later, make sure that you actually share the video out when it comes out, you saw me make it, but when it comes out, it ranks better. Please do analysis video on Cron, Big Insider Buys. Uh, William Broderick, uh, that's your 20th uh, super chat to me. Uh, that is very, very kind of you. Thank you very much indeed. But William, it is a members only perk. Become a member and I will do it and cover the earnings. Um, I can't do it without an, uh, I can't do a, uh, um, a review without you being a member. It's a members perk. Okay. Even if you give me a million dollars, it's so we don't, uh, we can't be sponsored by anyone or bought by anyone. It's a members perk. Uh, consider that. Now, if you do or consider being a member, here is the video you need to watch. All of it. It's a 20 minute video. There's no ads on this video. I don't get any money out of it. Uh, please, please, please watch this video. This is why you should be a member. But not only that, not only that, 
Um, also, it will tell you about all the perks you've probably missed. Okay? Uh, is JJ in the house? I've been asking for JJ in this show. Uh, is he here? Um, are you here? Because I wanted to ask you a question. Very important question. Are you here? Uh, very good. Martin, did you get my email? Kevin B. I've had lots of emails from you over the last few days. Uh, so I'm sure I have. Uh, best family ever, guys. Lance Strength. Yes, Lance. We're only, we're only 45 minutes away from your mum's uh, special tribute evening. There it is. Uh, Sensei said, I'm, uh, I missed, uh, we missed your, uh, I missed your comments. I missed your comment. Uh, what comment was that? Could you repeat it for me rather than me scroll all the way up? Please. That would be very, very helpful. What it was your comment? Uh, Sensei, please repeat it. MSK, bought more Fisker, Cronus, some big, huge inside buys. I love to see that. Uh, smooth live video review, by the way. Didn't even stutter. Uh, Capswell, thank you so much indeed. Uh, remember, unlike Meet Kevin, who has a team of editors, I make these videos live on my own with all the B-roll, with all the sound, the lights, the, the extra content, the different screens and so on. I'm reading it for the first time, managing the sound and the light and audio with all the information, all the multiple screens and the B-roll. It's being edited and created live. When I put that video out, it'll be exactly like that. All I do is top it and tail, cut and cut at the beginning and put compression on it to give it an even tighter audio finish. And that's it. But thank you for saying so. I appreciate it. Please, Nissan, come join us soon. Any FSR news? Not yet. Martin, did you get my email? Uh, Kevin B. I'm sure I did. Uh, I get all of them. What's uh, specifically this one? Um, yes, make more cannabis videos. I am loving them and will also share. Ronald Medina. Yes, again, uh, if you become a member, I will make reviews for you. I will do earnings for you. I will cover news for you. It's uh, a member's perk. Uh, I've got 98% uh, of our live viewers are members. So I have to honor what my members want. So it, it would be worth a couple of bucks to you, I'm sure, to do that. Uh, there are many, many perks you get. All right. Uh, William, just become a member. It's worth it. Here's uh, here's your review of Cron. There you go. We've got a Cron analysis review already paid for. If you just if you just become a member, flipping heck, that's a good deal. Yardstick has bought your review. You've just got to become a member. William, just become a member. It's worth it. Here's your review, Cron. Russia terrible attack. At least 40 dead in a concert hall. They now have, uh, they have now set fire and the concert hall is collapsing. Thoughts and prayers for those affected. Russia, terrible attack. At least 40 dead in a concert hall. When will it ever end? How much is membership? Uh, if you click on that link, it'll tell you it's a couple of bucks. Uh, for bronze membership, all the way up to investor level, which is 500 bucks. But uh, you get a lot of things for uh, two bucks. It, and it's not about the cost of the membership. It's not, it's about verifying you. That's all it is. Um, it's not about, um, I, I, what I'd rather you do, if you're unsure, because I want, that's why everyone's a member. They, they, and they stay members. Let me give you the video of explaining what you get. All the training that you get for free, paid training for free that uh, by Ed Nevius. Top tips, information, exclusive videos, research. There's there's uh, there's so many things. I don't tell people anymore what you get. Yesterday, uh, Paul Knoll said, "Make a video." There is the video. Watch it. There's no ads on that video. You just watch it, and it will tell you what you get as a member. And and when you are a member what to do with it, and how to use it, how to get Discord, how to get the training, how to phone in, how to upgrade on Discord. All of that is in that video. You must watch that video to learn all about it. Anyway, Ronald, it's only a couple of quid. Yes, it is. Uh, yes, it is. Just remember, it, were, it, were, it was few against many. Vincent Vosberg. Who pays in squid? <laughs> quid. Pounds, quid, few quid. Anyway, shout out to PK uh, in the UK. 
Shout out to PK. Who's PK? Hello, PK, whoever you are. PK, friend of Vincent Vosberg. Lovely to uh, have you as a guest here today. Right. We have to end. I have to get these videos out for our, for our uh, members who requested it. That's it from me. We are back on Sunday with Sensei Crypto and, of course, Cash in the Attic. Oh, yes, he loves when I say that. So let me share with you. Here's the homepage of the channel. If you love crypto, uh, we're going to have our own crypto. We are working on that. stock a doo 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 Stock a doodle doo has become a member. <laughs> Stock a doodle doodle doo. I love it. Uh, now, please make sure I'm not going to tell you what you have to do for all the perks and benefits. Here is the video. Watch all the way through. Take some time over the weekend. It's 20 minutes long. All of the perks in that video are explained to you and how you get the uh, the, the Discord links and how you get on and, and all the rest of it. Please do take the time. There are that many perks that you get and all the free things that we give you from, 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 uh, from our partners all included in that video. Right. So on Sunday, if you like crypto, uh, we will have we are working on getting our own crypto coin, which will be the best crypto coin in the world, because it will be the only crypto coin in the world where there will be a limited amount like Bitcoin. But the you will know who the creator is, me, and I will buy. Um, uh, I will put liquidity in and I will never sell and I'll make a public declaration that I'll never sell. And because of that and because of that alone and the popularity of the show growing the way it is doubling every month, the coin will go up and my members get the pre-IPO deal. Remember, that's part of the video explained as well. OK, all right. Now then. Hello. Nice to see you tonight. How is Virgin Galactic? Virgin Galactic. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Um, I think it's going to go to one dollar ten, if I'm not uh, mistaken. Uh, what is up with Foxo? Um, right. I've got to get out of here. Thank you to our new member, Stocker Doodle Doodle Doo. I love that. I think that's brilliant. Uh, where are you from? Don't forget, we can add the badge for you, uh, the, your flag, sorry. All of that is in, is in our membership video if you go and watch it, okay? Uh, have you been ignoring my remarks and requests for the Evtol news on purpose, Martin? And of course not. I've just run out of time. I've run out of time. I cannot do it now because we have to do something most important for one of our members. We're going to end this show now and send you all here. It's, uh, we've got another member. Incredible. You do. <laughs> Don Claddy has become a member. You do realize, folks, um, isn't this video members only? No. <laughs> no, it's not. It isn't members only. It's absolutely bonkers. Uh, we've got 98% of our live viewers members higher than any other channel on YouTube. We've, we've got insane amounts of members now. Um, the service is just, it's incredible. I, I'm deeply humbled. Anyway, I have to focus on the members right now. So let me, uh, you'd think we were in members only mode, wouldn't you? <laughs> Mr. Beast with CNBC, uh, Bloomberg, they, Bloomberg, they would love this. Um, but uh, no, we are, I'm just checking. No, let's see. We are in subscriber mode only. There's member mode. See? Yeah, uh, our projection within 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 seven years is to be the biggest financial channel on planet Earth with more viewers than Bloomberg, CNBC, Meet Kevin and Graham Stepan combined. Ten million. We believe that. We absolutely believe that with our growth doubling every month. Uh, we absolutely believe that 100 percent because people want real. They want live. They don't want just videos. They want live and they want where they can. Everyone gets a voice. Everyone can be part of the show. And it's just easy and fun and simple. And we have a laugh as well. Not all just numbers, numbers, numbers. All right. Okay. Let me, uh, let me send this now to you, to, uh, our special event tonight. Hope you can all join me. Tribute to Glenda. There it is done. When you end this video, will go there. All right. Uh, I'm now also going to give you the link to my music channel. For those who don't know, I'm but I'm going to be in the studio behind me tonight. I am the the world piano man, as voted uh, as the world piano man, doing a special concert tonight for one of our members. Uh, I'm back. All good on Discord now. Fantastic. I'm so glad you're here, JJ. I want to talk directly to you because you are the very first person I can ask this to. Up to yesterday, 
I was explaining every perk and how to get on Discord and so on and so forth. I put out a video yesterday and told people from now on, watch the video and you will know how to become a member, what to do. Oh my gosh, another member. Andreas Schmidt has become a member. Incredible. So, JJ, what I want to know is, obviously, you sent a friend request on Discord. You put your name in the chat. Did you learn that from that video? I want to know, did you learn that from that video that I put out, that specific video? Or did somebody tell you? Did you watch that video, the member video? Did you watch that? And if you did watch it, how much of it did you watch? So I know that you know about all the perks. Because if it works for you, it'll work for everyone. Because you did exactly what I asked to do. You made it very, very easy for me to upgrade you and bring you in. And hopefully now, yes, the video is perfect. Brilliant. So you saw the video. How much of the video did you watch? Did you watch all of it? First minute? It's like 20 minute video. This is great. This is great. Hang on. I'm just doing a bit of research here, folks. 99%. Fantastic. And there's no, there's no advert on there, is there? It just plays through for you to learn about everything. I want it to be as simple as possible. And, um, that way, I don't have to explain all the ins and the outs and you've got all the detail because there's so many perks. When someone becomes a member, I spend the next 20 minutes talking to that person and we're getting about 10 members a day every day now. So I would just be talking about memberships all the time, which obviously wouldn't be very good for everybody else, would it? Okay, so... We're now going to go into our concert. What I'm trying to say is, isn't the Perks video members only? No. No, it's not. Uh, the Perks video is not members only. No, it's not. Because the Perks video is a public video, so people learn about, the vi learn about it. And uh, I'll share with you. Look, if you look here. Uh, thank you, Sende, for asking. Thank you for checking and all the rest of it. Um, no, it's to invite people to become members. If we go here, videos, 20,000 on YouTube. That's the moment we got 20,000 yesterday. And, uh, oh, by the way, Sende, watch this. We were 20,000 yesterday. Look at 24 hours later, Sende. Ready? Sensei, watch this. We were 2,000, sorry, 20,000, 24 and a bit hours ago. You ready? <laughs> 179 since yesterday, back a few hours. We're doubling every month. Uh, anyway, um, so let me share with you. Here is the video. Yes, it's in the members playlist because members want to watch this. But look, it's a public video. If it was members, it would say members only. It's for, and I'm glad you've asked because it's important to check. You know, I make mistakes all the time. So I'm glad you checked. It is public, but it's also in the members playlist. So they will go and look at it as well. All right. If I, uh, if I put here on the homepage, it might be in the, yes. Is it going to be on the members? Um, members only. Let me see. Members only. Members only. Is it in the members only videos? No, it's not. In, oh, hang on. Let me just check all of them. Members only videos. Um, no, no, it's no, it's not in the members only videos. Um, but anyway, it is on the members page. If you go to the membership page and uh, there, there. Oh, that's what you're talking about, isn't it? That's what you're talking about. When I put the post out, I did it members only to get the post. I wanted all the old members that were already members 
to watch this so they could make it take advantage of all their perks. That's why I did that, and that's why it messaged the members. That's why it's in the members uh, a members only post. It's not a members playlist. It's a members only post. But no, it's a public video. And thank you for checking with me. And it's good that I've gone through all that. So yeah. Anyway, I think the Luca Corn will be a great opportunity for all of the mem members. MSK will an early access and can pump it all over the internet. First YouTube back crypto could make us million. I really think so too. I absolutely agree. I absolutely agree. When that comes out, I think everyone's going to make a lot of money. Yep. All good. Can uh, can watch high speed to save time. <laughs> Sorry, it came up on my membership. That's right. Yes. Uh, wait is over. Nissan plan, business plan is about to be revealed. The wait is over. Charles Santos. We don't have that information yet. Uh, we don't know that. This is That is crazy. You're growing so fast. Charles Santos. Source, please. Yes. Not sure if FSR will be included, though. Um well, then it's not the news we want, then, is it? Yes, that was it. Thanks for confirming. Are you live during Easter? Yes, I'm always bloody live. I never go anywhere. Right. I've got to go. In more important things. And as we were talking, we've just rolled round again. 20,180. Yep. Absolutely bonkers. Absolutely bonkers it is. Uh, yeah, we're growing faster and faster all the time. Right. Seriousness now. Here we go. Over the weekend, you're going to see the 24-hour stream start this weekend. Please tune into it. Uh, be my testers and guinea pigs. There's going to be lots of stuff coming out this weekend with the 24-hour stream. Look out for it. It's on the extra channel. It's going to give you such, such good content. You're going to love it. There is the link in the extra channel. Okay? There's the link. But right now, it's time for Glenda, mother of Lance Strength. She passed away yesterday, and we're going to do that right now. So I'm going to end this show. We're all going to go here. I'm going to give everyone the link. Here it is. Put it three times. Um, if my Rumble audience would like to join me, you are most welcome also. There is the link there. Uh, you are very welcome to join me, my Facebook audience. We're going to spend the first 15 minutes celebrating the life uh, of Glenda, and then we'll go into our normal party. So like an hour concert from my music studio. Okay, there we go. I've given it to my Rumble audience. Just got to skip the ads. I can't get around the, the ads, I'm afraid. Even as a creator, I have to watch the, my ads. There you go. All right? We're all good. That's it. Thank you to all of those of you that supported me on uh, Rumble. This week, I won the Small Creator of the Year Award on Rumble. Uh, I get paid 500 bucks as my prize, which is nice. I will get that at the end of the month. Of course, I'll just buy a share of the S&P 500. You know me. That's what I'll do with it. But thank you very much indeed. Right. It's now time to go over to our special tribute concert. Please all join me for a very special evening. Um, uh, seems links are not permitted here. Charles San Santos, links are permitted via Discord. You have to be a member, but no, links aren't here. Here's how to become a member. Here's how to share links. Here's how to be one of my researchers. And there's all the information you need right there in the chat. Okay. We can buy early access and then make it move up by buying a pond and being able to trade, help it lift off. Yes, I'm definitely buying some. We send it to the moon. I really do think you're all going to make money. The only person who won't make any money will be me because if I sell it, then I've broken the pact. I won't be selling it. I will be just simply buying it and holding it to help you make money. I will benefit from the channel growing. That will be my promise to you. Okay, let's do it. Thank you very much indeed. We're all done. Um, we're going to get straight out of here. I will see you. You can join me right now in this special event. Uh, and as soon as I'm ready, uh, I'll be starting at four, in half an hour from now. That's it. Thank you very much, everyone, for joining me this week on the week that we passed 20 thousand subscribers.
We're still doubling our rate of growth. Senze will explain that to you. Uh, on YouTube, you've got grey ticks, light green, or dark green ticks. Dark green means you are constantly beating your metrics. We've been constantly beating every single metric now for about six months. So we're not just doing the same or around about the same or whatever. We're beating it every single month on every single metric, doubling in fact. It's incredible. Thank you for being part of it. I hope that I'm providing the best service possible. I ask my wife every night, am I doing something good for the world? Am I bringing something positive? Am I helping people? Is it real? Is it honest? Did I work as hard as I humanly could? That's what drives me. And she says, yes, you are. I'm proud of you. And that's what, why I do this. Thank you for all of your support. Now it's time to join me as we support one of our friends here. We had a birthday this morning and this evening we have a memorial. Join me for that special tribute. I will see you back as a guest, as a viewer on Sunday as Sensei presents his Sunday show, Cash in the Attic. <laughs> join him for that. You're going to love it. It's great. I'll be back on Monday. Look out for the weekend before and after Sensei for the 24-hour stream. It's about to kick off. Join us for that. You don't want to miss it. Um, it's a big weekend in the studio, upgrading things, all planned, ready to rock and roll, and uh, hopefully you'll join us for that. Thanks again for a one the, the best job in the world. Thanks to all our new members. Make sure that you've all watched the, the, the membership video, taken advantage of all of those things. Um, and I will upgrade your account. Let me just see if you've just done it. Uh, I, if I, if you have, um, I will do it straight away. No, I just wanted to make sure. I didn't want anyone to wait if I could have done it now. No, not yet. You haven't watched the videos. I'm sure you will, and I'm sure you'll, you will um, uh, be in contact with me. That's it. Until Sunday, Sunday show. Until we meet again in half an hour on the music channel, that's it from me. As always, take care of your money, yourselves, your crypto, and most importantly, as always, be nice to each other, take care of each other, and enjoy life until you can't anymore. That's it, really. See you back in a bit. Ta-ra.